welcome back to my channel my name is ayana for you guys who are new here i run a candle business by the name of so yaya and we talk about entrepreneurship candle making business tips all those good things in between to help you get started with your candle business and if you've already started then we just give out tips to help each other along the way in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to find the net weight of any jar vessel bubble candle body candle whatever kind of jar that it is that you're using this video is going to be super quick and straight to the point and i hope by the end that you have a little understanding of what ounces mean the net weight and fluid ounces and the differences of those that being said we're just going to give a little background on some of the vocabulary just so you guys know exactly what i'm talking about purchase a candle from any vendor they usually tell you what fluid ounces of how much water can fit into whatever jar it is that you purchase up to the very tippy tippy top like right here around the brim so i believe this is the 14 ounce jar and it does not hold 14 ounces of wax so it is our job to figure out how much net weight wax can comfortably fit into this jar so that we can sell it to our customers Going to be showing you that with a couple demonstrations today so that you have just a little better insight of how you can do this it. is a 14 ounce jar but i do not fill this jar to 14 ounces at all i fill this to 10.4 and i know you're thinking that's a drastic difference right and as i told you guys before in like previous videos if you haven't seen those videos there is some extra glass here that doesn't even get filled at all so that is why there's a huge difference in ounces when it comes to measuring these certain jars when i am measuring out my candle jars if you are going to be using water which i don't recommend to i think it's so much easier to go ahead and use wax so that way you don't have to find any mathematical equations to convert you're going to have to do density times water be able to figure out the amount of wax that's needed but to me that's just like an extra step that's not needed Also too, demonstration that I'm showing you to figure out the net weight can be used for any of these jars as mentioned before. It's worked across the board. I've used it multiple times and I know that companies will give you the ounces for these, but I like to do it myself just to make sure that it amounts up. And then I'm gonna be showing you guys the demonstration using the white jars because I just thought about that. You're not gonna be able to see the fill lines in the black jars at all. And it's probably gonna be hard to see the white jars with the lights reflecting off of them, but I'm gonna do my best to get you guys an accurate reading. All right, Bessie, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill my my pouring pitcher up with wax this is an actual 18 ounce jar but I do not fill it to 18 ounces so let's go ahead and fill her up and to me that is perfect now if I was going to be putting a lid onto this jar then I would have it a little bit less because these lids right have a little depth to it so if i was to put that in there it would end up smushing the candle so because i'm not going to be using any lids this is a good point so once that solidifies i'll show you guys what that looks like but this is how i figure out the, the net weight and so i like to fill it up anywhere from 378 grams to 389 390 390 is actually pushing it but i like to do anywhere from 378 which is 13.3 ounces or 389 which is going to give you 13.7 ounces so you kind of have to just eye it and play around with it that's why i like to go ahead and just use wax so that i can know for sure what looks the best if you're using water know that this is going to be completely different like i can even show you guys a demonstration of filling the jar up 389 grams of water so that you can just get a kind of a visual of the differences all right, so we're gonna go ahead and tear this one, make sure that it's in grams, and we're gonna try to fill this one up to 389. You can tell the differences, so 
let's see you can kind of already see like there is a difference between them and i know it's so hard to tell but there is this one's the one with wax is definitely filled way more than the one with water which literally only fills to about there so there definitely is a difference and that's why i say definitely just go ahead and use wax i know it's not like a major difference you guys but you can definitely tell that there is a difference hey guys so i am back so this is the candle once it has solidified as you can see there are some cracks in there because i did use just soy blend 464 on this wax usually when i'm doing like tester candle i'm not melting it down to see anything or get the hot or cold throw i will go ahead and use that 464 wax just so that i'm not wasting my coconut soy blend but this is what the candle looks like and as you can see even just looking at that fill line guys you can kind of tell that it's gone down a lot I know it looked like I poured it so high in the video but as you can see it definitely shrinks down a little bit once it does solidify so I just wanted to give you guys a little visual of what that looked like Another tip that I wanted to share with you guys is when you are filling up your pouring pitchers so that you can go ahead and fill in your jars to see what your desired fill weight is gonna be, make sure you just go ahead and fill it to however many fluid ounces that the jar is. So if the jar, the vessel, or whatever it is that you're trying to get the net weight of, make sure you go ahead and just use that number. So if it's a 16 ounce candle, go ahead and use 16 ounces of wax. That way, although you're not gonna use the full 16 ounces, but you just wanna make sure you have more than enough when you're pouring. It just alleviates that step of having to melt down additional wax. You didn't melt down enough the first time. Also too, I want you guys to know that if you have a 16 ounce jar, 17 ounce jar, whatever, nine ounces, it's always gonna be less than that number. So if it's a 16 ounce jar, you're not gonna use 16 ounces of wax. You're gonna use maybe 15.5 or 14.6 or something like that like it's never or it could be just a full whole number so i hope that doesn't confuse you guys but just to know that it could always be numbered less than whatever the actual fluid ounces is so those are just little tips that i forgot to add in there and i believe that is all the tips that i have for you guys hopefully i didn't make that confusing for you guys and hopefully with the visual demonstration you have a little bit better understanding